Hey, what's up, people? Just got the Motu Origins Mattel Creation Cyclone in. I was not expecting this at all. I didn't have any shipping notifications or out for delivery or anything, and I just never get anything from Mattel Creations this quick. So, big shock for me to see a FedEx truck pull up and bust this out. And I guess I kind of forgot he was going to come in this collector's edition box as well, because when they pulled the box out of the FedEx truck, I see it as Mattel Creations, and I was like, that doesn't look like our standard figure, so I didn't know what it was exactly. But just super happy to get him, especially like this early, and gonna bust him out, check him out, show you guys what he looks like. Right, here's some of the top artwork from the top of the card. Check that out real quick. Right, and I flipped it around the back, and this is really cool. You got Cyclone here fighting that uh, Moss Man hanging off a cliff. Got Hordak up here in the corner, and he is fighting the big snake inside of the Fright Zone. So hopefully Fright Zone will be something we got coming in here pretty soon, too. I know we had that fan's choice or the the voting that we were able to do where we're picking what playset or whatever else would come out next and the snake layer one. I know this was up there too. I think we had two choices. I picked the snake layer and I think I picked this as well for the Fright Zone. So yeah, I didn't win that, but hopefully it is something we'll be getting pretty soon. I'd love to have that original Fright Zone. Yeah, so I'm really excited about him. Like I said, I'm just going to bust him open. We'll check him out. I'll show off the mini comic he comes with real quick first, the Fog of War. Flip through that. You guys check it out. Pause if you want to read it. All right, here's the first couple pages flipping through. Uh, you can see Extendar there. He should be coming pretty soon. And then got Lord Grasp down here in the first page, bottom right corner. And just keep flipping through some. Get to see some Cyclone in action using his little tornado effects. Then get on to the end of this here. I haven't read it all yet, so I'll probably check that out later. I'm curious who this is down here. It looks like he's talking to the wind or to the clouds or something. Maybe some kind of god. I don't know. I'll, I'll get into that later. I'm more excited to check out this figure. All right. And here he is. Just right out the box. Uh, right out the package. And yeah, I must have been pretty busy lately. Um, I didn't know that he was coming in that box. I remember just getting up, ordering him, doing what I had to do for the day. Didn't look much into him. And there's some cool features that are going to be on him that I was just shocked to see right now. I'll get into his accessories first. All right, first it comes with the shield. Uh, yeah, this is a new shield. We haven't had this before. Pretty cool, a little different. It's got these little like waves to it, I guess, kind of representing his wind effects and stuff. And then the basic clip and handle on the back. Okay, this red ring that kind of became popular from 2000X. Uh, it's first time we ever seen him with this. I think this is something that's going to snap on the back. We'll check it out here in a minute. Kind of gives him some other little effects. I forget exactly what he used it for in the cartoon, but... We'll see what it does when I snap it on, how we can kind of pose it. it looks like it'll swivel up and down. And then he comes with, um, I want to say, extra hands. Um, they're just these wind effects, tornado tunnel effect. But they're going to pop in. They got little pegs right here. They're going to pop in, so he'll remove his hands, put these in. So these will be pretty cool. Snap those on as well and see what it looks like with those. So they're just, like I said, big cones, big cones of wind. Really cool, though. Nice sculpt and everything on them. All right, I was going to throw all those accessories on him, but then I realized I wanted to check out something on him first. I'll show you guys in one second that I'm real excited about. I'll bring him in closer first. Let's check out the head on him. He's got that cool light blue gar skin. And then down to, oh, he's got that space radar, which was just a sticker in the original. This is really cool. Man. It's um, not quite like holographed on it. It looks like, no, I thought it was kind of, had that rough texture to it. It does a little bit, but it doesn't make that little sound I was looking for. But that is really cool. Yeah, if you move it around. Yeah, I want to see if I get on camera. If you move it around, you can see it move. So that is really cool. Then you got red belt. Looks like a planet on there. Looks like Saturn. His arms, he's got these cool little fins up here on the side. There's red little wristbands. Same down with the legs, yellow, and then the red wrist, or calf bands on and little rings around his legs okay now i'm just gonna get to the part that i'm just so excited about i can't wait i'm gonna pop his arms up first and you see on the back here he has his little dial like the original has and you can see that it looks functional that is because you pop him up at the waist here and then you get to this dial on the back and he does retain his action feature which is so cool i wish they could have done that with so many of the other figures but I'm just so excited to have this. Let me bring him down a little bit. You can see. Just awesome being able to do that. So they actually took the time to put the mechanics in there and do that. Just so dang cool. 
<laughs> I can do a whole video just sitting here spinning this. I'm so happy to have this. Yeah, so when you're done, you just pop them back down and then back to his like standard standard look. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to like these little clips on the back. I thought that maybe there's a spot for that red ring effect and then maybe a shield too, but I can't get a shield to pop on here anyways, and I feel like I might bust something if I do. I thought you'd be able to hold the shield and put that on. So I think it's just two effects for the ring. We'll check that out real quick. Okay, yeah, first I'll snap on this lower one right there. If you wanna see, you can have it with just behind him like that. I'm gonna snap it onto this top one as well. And I just kinda of have it like that, or if you wanna tilt it up, looks kinda of cool like that as well. But then also, one second, I'm gonna snap it back onto the bottom one around his waist. All right, yeah, I'm gonna slide it up over him like this, and then I flip this upside down to do it this way. That way it will snap on the waist. So if you want to have it around him like this, you can as well. And then, let's see, bust him out. You can do the spinning effect, and yeah, that'll stay on there as well. So pretty darn cool. Okay, then I just put him with the shield in hand and then the ring on him. So you check out the shield real quick, and we'll get onto those tornado effects. All right, and here he is with the tornado effects on. I just pop the hands off, and then you pop these ones in place. There's little pegs. Um, kind of hard to get him to stand like this. It just took a little bit of work because it makes him a little heavy with these. We'll come in a little closer. Um, they do have a little hinge on them. There's not much movement to them at all. I mean, you can move them. Um, yeah, I mean, you can go a little bit back and forth. But I don't know. I don't really need to. I feel like they need to be coming straight out anyways. Then I got to do it one more time with the tornadoes on them spinning around. So this is cool too. If you lined up some figures, you can spin around, knock them all down. Again, this action feature is just so cool to have on there. And like I said, I wish we had more stuff like this with some of the other figures. And hopefully going forward, we might get some. But this is just super cool. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up with this. Um, that was my quick little look at him. I'm just... I really love this figure. He's awesome. I'm so glad to have him in the line, and I'm so glad he has the action features and everything, like I said. Overall, just amazing. I love this guy. So if you ordered from Mattel Creations, um, you haven't got a shipping notice or anything yet, maybe expect him to be coming soon. Like I said, I was totally shocked and surprised to get him today, get him so early. But thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoy the content, you know, you can do all that good YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment. And if I get anything else popping up soon, I'll be putting out some more videos. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.